OK, so ladies and gentlemen, on this example, we have an hexagon. And what I'm asking you to do is find the measure of the interior and the measure of the exterior individual angles. Now, it's very important for us to understand there's one key part of information. This is not just a hexagon. This is a regular hexagon. And a regular hexagon, thank you, a regular hexagon is a hexagon that has exactly the same amount of sides that are congruent in size, as well as the angles are going to be equal in measure. So let's just go and take a look at what an example. The best example I can do of a regular hexagon is look something like this. Okay, Every single one of those side lengths is supposed to be equal. Now, if I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen, find the measure of one of these exterior angles. Now remember, when we determined exterior angles, what I told you guys to do is take a side that creates an angle and extend, extend that side. When you do that, you create an exterior angle. All right? So let's go and talk about the exterior angles. Um, um, Colin, what do you know about exterior angles? Anything you know about them? They're outside. They are exterior of the polygon. Uh, yes, Shane, what else do you know? For all polygons? All of them. 10, ten gon or 100 gon? Yes, very good. So yes, you're correct. You're correct. Um, one thing that's important is the sum of all exterior angles for any polygon is going to add up to 360 degrees. So we can say the sum is 360 degrees. Now, if I was going to look at this hexagon, how many of these exterior angles do I have? I have six. So if I want to find the measure of one exterior angle, what do I need to do to take to the sum? So I have the sum of all of these red angles is 360. But I need to divide it evenly into how many exterior angles? Yes, Shane? Divide 360 by six. Divide 360 by six. So if I want to find one individual angle, I take the sum of exterior angles and I divide it by six. And that's going to equal 60 degrees. So what that's telling us, ladies and gentlemen, is the measure of one of these exterior angles is 60 degrees. And that's equal for all the exterior angles. All right. Now let's move on to interior angles. To find interior angles, the sum of all the interior angles, that was a little bit different. We can't just go ahead, stay. Stay. Sit down. Excuse me, Shane. Don't sit. Yeah, exactly. So if we're going to go in the interior angles, we're going to have n minus 2. If I want to find the sum, that's n minus 2 times 180 degrees. All right? So I can make this very quick, guys, if you need. All right? So remember, n represents the number of sides, which is 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 times 180 is going to be what? 720 degrees. But 720 degrees is the sum of all those blue angles, right? Yes. But it's evenly divided between how many? 6. 6. six. Right. So if I want to find the individual, take 720. Divided by 6. And you get? And you're going to get 120 degrees. The last step that I want you guys to understand is 60 and 120 degrees are what? 60 and 120 degrees are what? They are high up to 180, so we call them supplementary. So what's important for you guys to understand is the interior and exterior angles all right, are what we call supplementary angles. Go.